In today's video, we are going to check in into the majestic hotel in Kuala Lumpur, the oldest hotel in town. It's almost 100 years old and I will take you all along with me on the experience. It's definitely one of the most luxurious hotels I've ever stayed at. So will it be a unique experience and will it be worth the money I spent here? Join me and let's find out. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. All right, let's check into Kuala Lumpur's oldest hotel. This is our reception. Okay. I just leave it the luggage. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Thank Checking you very much. Place. Yes. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. I have a reservation for Ken. Yeah. I'm just gonna have your passport sure. registration, sir. Welcome to the Majesty Hotel. Oh, thank you very How much. How are you doing today? I'm very fine. Just to confirm back, as you will be staying with us for one night. Correct. It's a junior suites category room. Correct. I like the big lobby here. That looks really nice. Ah, uh, yeah. You should try. Uh, the uh, majestic wing. That's the, the, the old, the old, old wing. The old yeah, I'm very wing. curious to see that as well. It, it was built uh, in the 90s. Uh, yeah, I think I read online it's almost 100 years old. Almost like, I think 1932. 1932. Yeah, also almost 100 years old. All right, I'm too early to uh, check in now. It is 1.30 now. The room is not ready yet, so we're going to have lunch first. Oh, the lobby here looks really cool. Oh, also the big, how do you call it in English? Chandelier. Chandelier. Chandelier yeah. Ah, looks really great. <laughs> I like it. I think I'm just going to enjoy my time, enjoy my time inside the hotel. Inside Not planning to leave the hotel today ah. for the next 24 hours probably. Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> one night, right? Yeah, it's a one-day vacation now for me. Ah, okay. I'm just coming from a from a road trip around the east coast of Malaysia. Oh. I was driving around with a motorbike for two weeks. Oh, you came with a motorbike? Yeah, yeah. Huh? It's very hot. It was very hot here <laughs> and I spent a lot of time just sitting on the motorbike. Ooh. Yesterday I came from Kuantan to KL in one day. Uh, how many hours roughly? Seven hours. Se seven hours? Including oh. some breaks. Ah, and not driving the highway, just driving the smaller roads. Oh, the small road, I mean like yeah. uh, the village. The Kampung road. roads. The Kampung, Kampung roads. More interesting than the highway. So this is our parking customer tree. It's uh, where we sit oh. our afternoon tea. Afternoon tea? Yeah. Afternoon tea. It's not afternoon yet. It will be served 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. And as well, it's our growing rooms. It's where we sing over the as well. Oh, this looks, this looks already like old style. It is a old style. Right? Yeah. So is this the part of the hotel that is old? This one, this structure is all, it's built from 1932. So starting oh. from the office ah. tree. So now we are in the old part of the we hotel. We are in the uh, Majestic. We call oh. it the Majestic. I like uh, historical buildings. I used to be really into history when I was younger. So being in a place that was built almost 100 years ago, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, thank you very you much for joining me. Yes, thank you. All right. Looks pretty, not really like hotel atmosphere, you know. Looks more like a, like a private living room almost, you know. Hello. I would like to get uh, lunch. Unless, yeah. Just for that size, Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, luxury treatment here. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, I'm not used to so much luxury, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's see what the menu here has to offer. Um, probably going to be pretty pricey as well, but yeah, what do you expect in a place like this? Mm -hmm. So we have starters here for 55 soups for 40 Hainanese chicken rice, 70 ringgit. Yeah, I would like to have the Caesar salad with smoked salmon and drinking just water with ice. Looks very good. Okay, thank you. Terima kasih. Thank you. So the salad has arrived. I also got some some bread here, which is warm. Oh, that's very nice. As a starter, basically. And then we have the salad right here. Which actually looks pretty good. Also a decent portion, I think. So we have the salmon here, egg. Not sure what this is. I like that if the bread is still warm, you put the butter on top and the butter is melting. Actually quite big pieces of salmon here. Oh wow, really, really good quality. Yeah. By the way, these red pieces here are dried tomatoes. First I thought it may be chili, then I was like, why is there chili in my uh, 
Caesar salad, but it's actually uh, tomatoes. Really good, by the way. All right, that was a good lunch. Actually, a perfect portion size for me now. 50 ringgit for the salad. And have a look at this. Mm, I think they have different types of teas right here. It's a Dilma tea, which I think is from Sri Lanka. Let's see if the, the room is finished, because I'm really looking forward to the room. I have a junior suite. Actually, let's have a look on more side in here. Little cozy room. Really looks like uh, yeah, this old historic atmosphere inside here, the interior design. Wow, well, first impressions here are really nice. Hello. Okay, the room is not ready yet, so actually I wanted to show you. This is the original old entrance to the hotel. Hotel Majestic. Oh, pretty loud here by the road. And actually here you can see the Medeka 118 tower, soon to be the second tallest building in the world. And this is the original, the old entrance to the hotel, Hotel Majestic. So yeah, the hotel was first opened in 1932, so that's almost 100 years old. So the hotel survived the Second World War, the Japanese occupation. Actually, during the Japanese occupation, this hotel uh, was a, a camp for the Japanese troops here. So you can imagine uh, how many things happened in or around this hotel. Very noisy here, the road. <laughs> yeah, whenever I am in historic places, I like to imagine how people were standing exactly here a hundred years ago, almost a hundred years ago. Probably the, the view was a little bit different back then. Actually, the building right here is also pretty old, I think. So maybe that was already already here. And then there, yeah, this used to be the, the old entrance to the hotel, which is now not really in use anymore. Hello. Good afternoon, Appa Kappa. This is the original, the old entrance here, right? Yeah, the monastic uh, old lobby. Yeah. But this one is now still in use. Can enter from here? Oh, ah, okay, okay. But not the, the lobby anymore. I like the uniform. Yeah, that was really nice. Is was it an old Malaysian uniform? Yeah, so uh, it is. Ah, the British? Yes. Sir. Ah, British style, okay. This is the, uh, yeah, the old part of the building where we also just had the lunch and then over there that's probably the high one there is the, the new part yeah, this is a small pool area but yeah we're going to check out the probably the other pool area then later i hope the weather will be okay looks like some dark clouds so we, we do actually have uh, another bar yeah it's called uh, smoke house smoke house smoke house smoke house yeah okay so it operates uh, every day every day from 12 noon until uh, sorry 11 in the morning until 12 in the midnight so it's quite famous that bar yeah as back in those uh, back in old days mm -hmm. we do have a lot of politicians celebrities oh. uh, meetings and they had meetings here. They had meetings oh, in okay, this okay. uh, smoke house. Yeah. So if you have a look, I can. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Let's have a look here. Yeah. So by the way, we are on the way to my uh, room now, which is going to be at the old building. This will be the smoke house. Ah, oh, that looks very exclusive. It is indeed. Let's have a look. Hello, good uh, afternoon. Oh, we have a pool table here. I like it, it doesn't really look like a typical hotel here. Yeah. yeah. Like it looks more like a private living room. It is indeed, yeah. I really like that. Also the other room over there. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm sitting in a hotel restaurant. <laughs> it's really nice, very really, uh, special. And there's a barber shop as well. A uh, barber shop? The uh, lower ground. Oh, sure. Oh. So you can get a haircut here. Where all the lounge and there's a meat private dining room as well. Oh, they sell cigars over there. You can smell the aroma of cigars. I, I don't smoke. You don't smoke? <laughs> no, I don't smoke. Yeah. So that way. Ah, that's the, the main road the here. Main road. Actually, that's the old train station as well, right? Old train station. Ah, yeah. Okay. still operate until now. But then one station further is the, the new station, right? The, the new station. The, the KL Central. KL Central. Yeah. But that's uh, the old one right here. Mm -hmm. You have an extra cigar room right here. Exclusive atmosphere. So some of uh, the biggest yeah. political. Politicians. Politicians <laughs> in Malaysia have been here yeah. and had meeting here. Yeah. 
Oh, that's very interesting, okay. So not for women, only for gentlemen? Only for gentlemen. <laughs> oh, hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, you're welcome. How much is a haircut here? We can get a look. Okay. Ah, different types of haircuts. 165. That's just a regular haircut? Yes. Yeah. Do I need a haircut today? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Anytime you're welcome. With okay, the thank you very much. Okay, have a nice day. Okay. Thank you, you're you too. Welcome. Yeah, of course you pay a... Uh, upscale price if you get a haircut here. I think in a regular haircut place you can get haircuts for yeah. less than 20 ringgits yeah. here. <laughs> so this is almost 10 times the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you often have like celebrities staying here? Yeah, we do have a lot. Yeah. But we had like Prince Charles. Prince Charles was here. Who was a king. Uh, who was a prince back then. Yeah, yeah. And now was a king. <laughs> oh, wow. And then uh, Queen Elizabeth, the late Queen Elizabeth as well. She also stayed here. She also stayed here. Probably so in the, the most expensive room then, the best room. Yeah, the best room available. And yeah. all of this uh, uni it's only for, uh, are occupied uh -huh. for her bodyguard. That's all right. Oh, it's cold in here already. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, aircon is already on. So anything, okay. you can just give us a call. Perfect. Enjoy your stay. Okay, I'll thank you very you much for the tour. Sure. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we are staying in a place where Queen Elizabeth and King Charles used to stay before. Not in this room, but in this hotel. Um, yeah, let's do a quick, not a quick, a proper room tour. And yeah, I'm staying in the old building now, which only has about 50 rooms. The original 50 rooms from back in the date when the hotel was first opened. And then the new building uh, has around, I thought did he tell me, I think 150 rooms. So in total about 200. The coffee machine right here, oh that's nice. Capsule coffee, so not the regular instant coffee as you get in most of the hotels. Then yeah, I have the, the living room right here with a couch, a little desk right here. And then we have the bedroom right here. Probably a wardrobe right here safe uh, anything special here bath robes okay then uh, let's check out the, the bathroom yeah you can see it looks yeah very like this antique unique boutique style interior here little uh, bath tub right here spacious sink which i always like and a big walk-in shower right here yeah proper big shower right here even I fit inside, being 1 meter 90 tall, no problem. So what do you think guys? Is this room worth the, what do I pay here? Almost 150 dollar, uh, which is like 700 ringgit. But of course you pay for the, yeah, the whole atmosphere here, the uniqueness of this hotel being almost 100 years old. You saw how exclusive the whole atmosphere is. So it feels like a very special place and as I said earlier, many of the, the rooms down there, they don't have this typical hotel feeling, you know, it feels almost like a private living room, but still, of course, uh, the price is, uh, is a lot. And to be honest, if I wouldn't film this video, then I would not spend that much money on a hotel room. And oh, what's unfortunate, I don't have a view. There is no view here. Hmm. To be honest, it's a little bit disappointing. By the way, this is not a sponsored stay. I'm a regular paying guest here, so I am not afraid to uh, to tell my honest opinion. And paying $150 and there's absolutely no view. That is a little bit sad. Maybe it's a little bit better here. Let's have a look before we judge too early. Hmm. Well, okay, also here not, not really a great view. Can I open the window? Very interesting uh, technique here to open the windows. <laughs> I'm scared to break anything here. This hotel is a hundred years old, you know. <laughs> All right, let's have a quick look outside. Ah. Hmm. Somebody was standing here probably a hundred years ago, almost a hundred years ago, looking outside the window here as well. Probably seeing a little bit of different of a view than what I'm seeing now. Well, okay. Yeah, to be honest, uh, so far the hotel made really great impressions, but the view is nothing that excites me too much, to be honest. Wait, we forgot one thing. If you're paying $150 a night, you want to have a great bed, right? So let's test out the bed right here. Ah, ah, yeah. 
definitely a comfortable bed. Oh. <laughs> also lots of pillows here to choose from. So we have this is probably a special neck pillow and then six pillows. Oh, I love to have a lot of pillows in my bed actually. But six is even more than I'm gonna use. Let's see what's down here. I guess a mini bar and yes, there is one. Something else here. Oh, just a kettle down there. Mm, I only see drinks, no snacks or anything. So we have beer, iced tea, Pepsi. What is this? Isotonic and water. And here the prices for the minibar. Soft drink 15 ringgit, the water 20 ringgit and the beer 30 ringgit. And here the coffee here is uh, complimentary. And I'm just realizing there is no water in the room, no complimentary water. I'm looking for it because I can't believe that you pay that price and then there is no complimentary water anywhere. Okay, that is actually pretty weird. So the only water that I have is the water in the mini bar for 20 ringgit. Okay, that actually is very weird. For that price, you expect at least two little bottles of water, right? This is my window from the other side. So obviously there's no view here. And yeah, the, the windows are blurred so that people can't look inside. Okay, I'm on the way to the pool. Okay, level four, swimming pool, roof garden, a gym and more meeting rooms. So we have the pool right here and then this is yeah the entrance to the to the new building actually where we arrived earlier. Just seeing if I can uh, catch the sunset somewhere. So just coming from the pool over there. But I don't think that there's an area where you can see the sunset. This area here actually looks quite nice. But yeah, the sunset will be in about 45 minutes over there. But yeah, not really a good spot to uh, have a view to the sunset. And yeah, I spent a few hours here at the pool now and I'm actually missing a pool bar. You know, like a place where you can order drinks to have them at the pool. That would be actually very nice. I'm missing that. So you don't have a, a nice view here at the pool. You don't have a place to order drinks at the pool. Which is something that, to be honest, I'm, I'm missing here a bit. Also, it's very noisy from the road here. So, not a perfect pool, I would say. All right, little update about the water situation. So there was actually somebody uh, coming uh, and asking if I need anything. That's actually something I've never seen before in a hotel that somebody comes at like 8 p.m. and just ask, hey, do you need anything? Everything okay? And uh, I told him about the water situation. Like, is there really no water here? I can't believe that. And then he said, oh, there's supposed to be water. And then he had a look and yeah, there was no water here, but then he brought me two bottles of drinking water. So there is drinking water here in every room. Uh, seems like they just forgot to, uh, to put it here, which is totally fine, no problem. But yeah, update about the water situation. I do have drinking water, which is complimentary now. Not only the paid one in the, in the fridge down there. And yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the evening here now and then see you tomorrow morning. All right, good morning guys. And yeah, before I will tell you about the night here and the breakfast, I wanna get this coffee machine going. Um, how do I do that? To be honest, I've never used a coffee machine in my life before. Uh, I just started drinking coffee like a year or a year and a half ago. So obviously most of the hotels where I stay don't have a coffee machine. They always only have instant coffee. So I never used such a machine before. So we have these capsules here, which what's the difference between the red and the silver one? Um, let's see, step one, fill the container with water. So step two, lift the lever to an upright position. Should be like this. Okay, insert the coffee capsule into the machine. And then you just do like this. Press this sign for espresso and this one for coffee. I want coffee. 
Ah, here we go. Okay, there's coffee coming. Hmm, and it smells already good here. Okay. Not bad, okay. And yeah, how was my night here and how was the breakfast here? First of all, the night was amazing. I slept like a baby. It was like sleeping on a cloud. There were no noises here. And then, yeah, of course, I also had the breakfast included in this day. And I have to say the breakfast buffet here was one of the biggest ones I have seen in any hotel I stayed before. There were two huge sections, one for Asian food and one for Western food. and. Yeah, basically anything you can think of. Uh, I'm more of a Western food guy when it comes to breakfast. I prefer like Western style breakfast, like baked beans, scrambled egg, hash browns, chicken sausage, croissant, cheese. The sad thing almost was um, I'm not a big eater in the morning, so I don't eat that much for breakfast. So I couldn't really make use of all the offerings that were there. So the breakfast was really good. Yeah, unique stay here. I can recommend it to you if you are into these historic old buildings and you you would value the unique uh, atmosphere here. I think a big part of what you pay here is uh, yeah this unique atmosphere here. And yeah, in the next video, we are going to the next country. We are continuing the journey from Bangkok to Jakarta without taking a single flight. The next journey will be taking us to a new country. I'm very excited for that. And if you haven't seen my previous video where I was still on my road trip around the east coast of Malaysia, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.